Aloha everyone, welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie guys, today was a stressful one. Today was very stressful and not fun and it takes a lot for me to cry but I almost cried. But you know, I was thinking about it and it is kind of a little bit of a flashback to when I was doing YouTube like a year and a half ago and I was going through some of the most difficult times in my life and I remember like I would be coming home from work on the bus like crying my eyes out to the point to where strangers were looking at me like, is he okay? <laughs> and this was the daily occurrence and I would come home and film YouTube videos and it was just like, <sighs> my detox. It's what made me happy, made me forget what I was going on, and we are in the same boat right now. No, but for real, it just makes me really grateful to have you guys and just to be able to make videos and have this be my life as a good distraction. Anyway, let's talk about your moisture barrier. Okay, it's really not that exciting of a topic. I sound like one of those third grade teachers that's like, isn't this fun for a not fun topic? <laughs> so if you're interested in skincare at all, you have seen a lot of conversation lately about your moisture barrier, fixing your barrier, repairing your barrier, hydrating your barrier. What the hell does that mean? Conversation around moisture barrier is a little bit confusing because it's such a complicated topic. There are so many different things that could be causing issues in your skin that mess with your moisture barrier. But in this video, I wanna simply explain it and then provide you with some tips and product recommendations to help you fix your moisture barrier in case you are struggling with this because hello, you clicked on the video, mijo. This is your doing. So let's get into it. This video is also partially sponsored by Neogen, so stay tuned to learn more about what products I talk about from that. <laughs> so first off, what the heck is a moisture barrier? First, think about our skin. Our skin is our largest organ. The skin actually does a really good job of protecting what's inside, but in order to make sure that our skin is properly functioning, it has to be in good health. It's just like the rest of our organs. And our skin has what's called an epidermis. I don't know why I have to say it fancy, but those are the rules. I also don't know why I have to frown when I say it. The epidermis is the topmost layer of our skin and focused on retaining moisture. Now I'm not going to get too sciencey because that's just, that's not my thing. No, that's a lie. It is my thing. I just don't like re-explaining it. <laughs> if you're interested in the science stuff, there are so many cosmetic chemists here on YouTube that you can watch. But essentially our skin's epidermis is focused on retaining moisture. Now, when there are disruptions in our skin, so any type of lesion, any type of cut, any type of wound, its ability to retain moisture significantly decreases. And when our skin can no longer retain moisture effectively, it not only means that your skin is going to be dehydrated, it also means it's not going to be at its prime health, which means the other benefits that you get with healthy skin are slowly checked off the list. No, not checked off removed from the list. So you see redness, you see sensitivity, you see an increase in dryness, breakouts, aging, acne scars, dark spots, and so many other issues. When your skin or your body or your organs are not in their prime health, you're gonna see a bunch of different negative side effects and those things will increase and increase over time if you're not taking care of the problem. Now, how do you know if your moisture barrier is broken or disrupted or just having problems? It's usually pretty obvious. First off, look for things like redness and irritation and sensitivity. If your skin kind of burns or stings when you touch it. If a lot of skincare products that you're using are severely irritating your skin, or you have things like breakouts or acne, those are all signs of a broken moisture barrier. Now, first off, there's a few tips I recommend when it comes to repairing your moisture barrier before you get into any of the products, because if you aren't using these tips, probably not gonna get rid of the problem. The first thing you wanna do is focus on moisturizing your skin. It seems pretty obvious you have a broken moisture barrier, you focus on moisturizing your skin. But there is a belief out there, specifically with people who have breakouts or acne, that using heavy or occlusive moisturizers are going to block your pores. I would venture to say most of the time, that's not true. So many ingredients out there are demonized by a lot of people to be pore clogging, when in actuality, it really just depends on the individual person. And across the board, most of these ingredients will not clog your pores. I know of very, very, very few ingredients that are actually shown at a clinical level to clog pores. So it's better to just focus on moisturizing your skin as much as possible than it is to be worried about potentially clogging your pores and not moisturizing. And here's the thing, if your skin's moisture barrier is disrupted, you're probably not moisturizing moisturizing enough and you want to overcompensate where you can. I would also recommend to eliminate any unnecessary irritants. Things like fragrance and essential oils, which yes, can be nice to have in a product, but they're not necessary and only increase your risk of irritation. Definitely not something you'd want on your skin when it's going through pretty severe sensitivity. Like any dermatologist will tell you that. By avoiding all unnecessary irritants, I also mean unnecessary ingredients in general. You can have some products out there, which I've seen, where the ingredient list looks amazing, but they have like 50 different types of natural extracts in one product alone, which is a lot for anyone's skin to handle, particularly if you have sensitive skin. And the reality is when your skin's sensitized, you don't really know 
know what it's going to react to. And technically, our skin can react to anything. You could have the best ingredient in the world and some people's skin will react to it no matter what. So it's better to be very intentional about what ingredients you're using and better safe than sorry in terms of keeping your ingredient list shorter. And another tip I would say is to really focus on your probiotics. Now, probiotics and prebiotics are really beneficial for your skin's moisture barrier because they help to maintain the level of healthy and bad bacteria on your skin. Your skin is a biome, which means it's a lot of life happening up on there. It's good to have bacteria on your skin, so long as it's the right bacteria. And that's where probiotics can really be beneficial in maintaining that healthy level of good bacteria. It can help to prevent any bad bacteria that would cause breakouts, acne, or just elongate the recovery period. Period. And this leads me to today's partial video sponsor, Neogen. Thank you so much, Neogen, for sponsoring this video. If you guys aren't familiar with Neogen, I'm very shocked because pretty much every single skincare YouTuber constantly talks about Neogen, specifically James Welsh, constantly talking about their products. One of them that I've been using for over a year, but two that I'm a huge fan of and really focus on the probiotic story. We'll start with my favorite product from the line, the Real Ferment Micro Serum. Now, if you are familiar with ferments, they're very high in their prebiotic and probiotic count. So you're really getting a lot of those benefits. This one has Bifida Ferment Lysate, which if you watch one of my very recent videos, you will see me talk about another product that is way, 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 way more expensive that includes the same ingredient. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the name, but it's obvious. Bifida helps to repair the moisture barrier's function and it reduces redness and sensitivity, which is why I think it's an amazing ingredient for anyone who's really struggling with a broken moisture barrier. It also has Saccharomyces ferment, which is another probiotic to help specifically with the activity of the skin's microbiome. Rice ferment filtrate, also known as sake ferment filtrate. Aspergillus ferment, which is known for being really hydrating. Niacinamide green tea and ubiquinone, my favorite antioxidant out there for preventing any daily damage. It's fragrance free and this one is a very hydrating formula, which is why I like using it overnight, but it's not really creamy and thick and heavy, which is great if you are going to pair this alongside a good moisturizer, which I think is perfect because you shouldn't be using this on your own. If you are going to use it, you should be using it alongside a good moisturizer. It's like a light gel texture, but you're getting a good amount of occlusives to really focus on repairing the moisture barrier. But if you are someone who wants some of these benefits during the day and a more lightweight consistency, that's where the product on my shelf, the Real Ferment Micro Essence is really beneficial. James Walsh talks about this all the time. I believe this is one of his top top like five products of all time. He is constantly raving about it and he is the reason why I originally got this like well over a year ago, started using it, and this is my second bottle. This one's great because you're getting a 93% complex, which is very concentrated. It has the same blend of probiotic yeast as the serum and a lot of amino acids to help strengthen the skin and reduce sensitivity. It's great if you're wanting the same ingredient benefits without like the heavier consistency or if you're wanting those benefits throughout the day. That's where this one is really beneficial and where I've used it. I've used this one during the day and this one during the and when I first tried it, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to think about this one. But I've actually grown to like it a lot over time. And just based on the reviews from every single content creator out there about this product, everyone's in love with it. Like I was saying before, it's really good to focus on probiotics and low irritating products. And both of these have a good blend of ferments and they're fragrance free, which is exactly in line with my product philosophy, which is one of the reasons I was so excited to partner with Neogen. So if you are interested in getting these products, you can find the links in the description box below. Thank you Neogen for partnering with me. And thank you guys as always for being super cool about my partnerships. Another product I think is great for anyone who does have a broken moisture barrier is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Hydrating Cleanser. Now I've talked about this one before, it's one of my favorite drugstore cleansers of all time. I think it's incredible because it's very nourishing, but it still deeply cleanses the skin. And this is important because there are a lot of people with broken moisture barriers that have acne prone skin and you want to get the deep cleansing ability without over stripping your skin, causing your skin to be even more dehydrated, which means your barrier is going to repair slower. And that's where it's really beneficial to use a good hydrating but deep cleansing cleanser. And I think La Roche-Posay has one of the best ones, if not the best hydrating cleanser I've ever found, which is why I'm constantly recommending it. Plus it's really affordable for the size that you get. And you can find it in the USA, in Europe, in Asia, all over the place. So it's a really good one to go with. I also have some more product recommendations and I'm trying to like branch out here and find some more products than the typical ones that I'm always recommending for moisture barrier repair on my channel. So I hope some of you guys like these. Another one is the First Aid Beauty Barrier Cream. Now I used this one for quite a while when my skin was really disrupted and I actually really enjoyed the experience because it is such a lightweight gel and the consistency is so hard to describe. It's oxygenated so it 
creates these bubbles. It feels like air, but it's not air. But it has propanediol, a great ingredient for hydrating the skin, and colloidal oatmeal, which is pretty much the best ingredient for reducing sensitivity and deeply conditioning the skin while sensitized. It has yeast, so the probiotics, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and licorice root extract. The only thing I don't like about it is that it does have linoleic acid, which is not a bad thing at all. It only may be problematic if you do struggle with fungal acne, but typically people who struggle with a broken moisture barrier aren't struggling also with fungal acne because fungal acne comes from too much moisture and a broken moisture barrier means too little. But just putting that out there, I just like this one because most moisturizers for barrier repair are very thick, very heavy, very intense. This one feels like air and it's so nice. I also love the Inky List Multibiotic Moisturizer. I talked about this when I did a live stream with the Inky List founders. It has such an incredible amount of prebiotics, which are great because prebiotics are essentially the food for probiotics. So by having both prebiotics and probiotics in your skincare, it means it's a self-fulfilling cycle of just healthy bacteria on your skin, but it also has ingredients like squalane, oat kernel oil, and yogurt powders. So really good for having good bacteria present and moisturizing the skin. And finally, the Kinship Probiotic Sunscreen. If you aren't familiar with Kinship, I've talked about them multiple times on my channel before. I think they're incredible because their packaging comes from collected ocean waste, which is so innovative, but they also have some really good formulas. The sunscreen being one of them, it's a zinc oxide based sunscreen. And I have seen so many people with very, very dark skin tones be able to use it successfully with no white cast, which is incredible. And I really need to start recommending the sunscreen more because it's again, one of those products that I use a lot, but I always forget to mention on my channel. That happens way more than I would like. Some of my favorite products I literally never mention, and I don't know why, but it also has Lactobacillus. It's a probiotic as well as turmeric and lots of good plant antioxidants for protection and skin soothing throughout the day. If you have more normal to dry skin, you're definitely going to like this sunscreen because it has a really nourishing and hydrating feel, which is great for anyone with a broken moisture barrier. Hopefully those product recommendations cover your basis because the main thing you really should be doing is just simplifying your routine, focus on hydration and moisture, non-irritating formulas, and keep that going until you see your skin improve. So long as you follow those steps, I am happy. You make mama proud. What do you guys think of these tips and tricks and recommendations? I would love to hear your thoughts in the description box below. Have you also struggled with this as well? Did you have any products that have saved your skin? Let me know, girl. Thank you again to Neogen for sponsoring this video and you can find the products in the description box below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.